Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to explain the difference between 3.1 and 5.1 surround sound on Sonos, and kind of explain the difference between 3.1 and 5.1. So what I have here is a Sonos Beam. Now, this is very similar to the Sonos Arc, but this is capable of 3.1 surround sound, or 5.1 surround sound. Now, it comes out of the box with 3.0 sound. What is that? Well, all these different numbers are the number of channels for audio. So a 3.0 system has a center channel, a left channel, and a right channel. A 3.1 system has a center channel, a left channel, and a right channel, but it also includes the addition of a subwoofer. So you can get a Sonos subwoofer and connect it wirelessly to the Sonos Beam or the Sonos Arc, and now you have a 3.1 system versus it being an out-of-the-box 3.0 system. So what is a 5.0 surround sound system or a 5.1 surround sound system? Well, the Sonos Beam is also capable of 5.0 surround sound or 5.1 surround sound. And what that is, is the addition of just two additional channels of surround sound. So with the Sonos Beam, you still have the center channel, the left channel, and the right channel, but now you add two more Sonos speakers, like the Sonos Ones or Sonos Play Ones, or you could even use built-in Sonos speakers, like the Sonos Amp combined with Sonos Architectural speakers. Once you do that, then you have a 5.1 channel setup because you have center, front, left, left rear, right rear. That's five different channels for sound, and of course, for it to be 5.1, you need to have a subwoofer connected. If you don't have a subwoofer connected, then you have 5.0 surround sound on your Sonos system. So out of the box, the Arc and the Beam are 3.0 surround sound systems with the addition of a subwoofer that adds the 0.1. And if you add two more speakers, that gives you a complete surround sound setup with a 5.1 channel system, which is the common designations for surround sound. I have a 5.1 surround sound system in my house with the Sonos Beam and two Sonos Ones. And in my opinion, it provides great sound quality for the size room. Now, when I set up this system, the Sonos Arc was not out yet, but the Sonos Arc does have more power and more speakers than the Sonos Beam. So if I were considering a 5.1 surround sound setup with Sonos now, I would probably lean towards the Sonos Arc if you have a big enough TV for it to fit under because you're just gonna get more power and more sound out of that. So a 5.1 surround sound system with Sonos, in my opinion, the best setup would be a Sonos Arc with two Sonos Ones, or you could have two built-in speakers driven off of a Sonos amp. The advantage of using the Sonos Ones is that those are just plug and play functionality versus the Sonos amp where you actually need to have hardwired installed speakers. So the Sonos One is easier to set up the Sonos Amp, though, you can customize with Sonos architectural speakers or even higher end speakers if you want to, because you can attach most built in architectural speakers to that Sonos Amp and create a surround sound environment with the Sonos Arc. So I hope you enjoyed this video explaining what Sonos surround sound is and the difference between 3.0 surround sound, 3.1 surround sound, 5.0 surround sound and 5.1 surround sound. Thanks for watching. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to support us, click on any of the links below.